In 2001, Deontay Hubbard and his mother and two younger brothers moved to Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. They moved into project apartment buildings in Summer Chase. After selling in the projects, Deontay knew he had to get to know the members as he seen the apartments ranked of gang activity. On his first day on the block, he started to greet himself to fellow gang members. Deontay took a stroll around the projects and he ran into some high-ranking members of the Black Peace Stones, DeAndre, but was known as Mo. He was heartless and Deontay had just stumbled amongst his territory. He walked up to Deontay and asked, who the F are you? And Deontay introduced himself as being from Chirac and Mo responded, what part? And Deontay replied, the West Side and most stated he was also from the west side. He asked Deontay to spit his lip and Deontay replied, I'm not a folk hunter hustler, or Black Pistone, or Vice Lord, I'm GD. And Mo replied, GD? Nah, little homie, you on the wrong side of the field. And Deontay responded, 
will flip me. Deontay resigned as a GD and requested to be flipped to a vice lord. So Mo and five other gang members walked him into the laundry room and they got down for three minutes while others watched. After his initiation, Deontay has now flipped from GD to a CVL. Other members were CVL and UVL. After his initiation, he went home for the rest of the day as he had been jumped and needed to heal from his initiation. Several days later, Deontay is now hanging with the Black P-Stones, CVLs, and UVLs at Summer Chase Projects. Together, they wreak terror on the residents and GDs that lived around the corner. As weeks and months passed along, so did Deontay's status in the gang. He became the most feared amongst the other gang members. Deontay even started to call out members to fight just for fun. And they did. After building his reputation as a CVL, he started doing what he do best, robbing people. He stated to one of the guys, look, I got this dude coming through like a half a pound of weed and I need you to help me take him out. The member responded, take him out where? Like out to eat or what? And Deontay responded, what the F you think? Stop acting stupid. Take his ass out, unconscious, or kill him. Then dude responded, okay, but I don't want to hurt him. You said it was just a robbery. Then Deontay responded, he on his way. Do what you need to do to get yourself ready. Don't play with me. You better show up and show out. Then he responded, so how is this all supposed to go down? What do you need me to do? And then Deontay responded, I need you to take this hammer. And as soon as I ask to see the weed and it's in my hand, I want you to hit him in the head and knock his ass out. Then the member responded, okay Deontay. And then Deontay responded, what's with you dude? I thought you was down. What the fuck is to you? Bell on me and your ass is mine. Don't play with me. He's on his way and I'll be back. I need to go get a hammer and put on all black. As both members prepare for the robbery, Deontay calls his house phone and states, Hey dude, he's here. I'm on my way. Meet me at his car. He in the blue sedan out front. Dude responds, Okay, I'm on my way. I'll see you out front. As dude pull up, both members tried to hop in his car, but he only lets Deontay in the front passenger seat. Deontay tries the robbery himself and is flung from the passenger door onto the street with the weed in his hand. As time went by, Deontay went on to rob everyone around him across the city. In 2007, Deontay moved on the north side with all his Chirac descents. While on the north side, he linked up with 19 Dipset, which were a street gang on the low end of 19th and Sheridan. Together with the gang, they started to rob and murder rival gang members across the north side. Then the city started a major war when 1-9 and other gang members started beefing. Then a 1-9 member, Tyrone Washington, aka T-Crack, was killed at a nightclub on the north side downtown neighborhood. Crack was clubbing when someone ran in and shot him in the head. He died soon after. Then his rival gang 
started dissing one nine and Deontay deceased friends and T Crack. Smoking dolo out the rack. We ain't pull up for a mat. Did you hear about crack? Try to turn up in the club. Got a stupid ass whack. Free down, not to sell. I got hit with in my pack. How did you ain't shoot shit? You don't even know the strap. Let me catch your ass lacking. Put a hollow steel cap. Try to turn up on live. Got a dumb ass pop. Dolo never coming back. Now Dolo for the block. Look, it better not leave the house, better stay at home, oh, but at least I'm finna tell em. Ain't no fellow talking, it won't be no mumbler. We'll come nah. to Crack City, you know we on dummy. You little niggas broke and my niggas get money. They let me out of prison, I shit ain't so funny. I'm flagging shit down, so you I'm better start running. My brother's designer, you little bitches bomb, man. I'm looking for this nigga fatty. What? Where the fuck this nigga fatty? Where you at? I just wait till my phone ring. Uh, I be selling crack to his daddy. Uh, 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 when I see him, I'ma blast him. Boom, boom. What the fuck I'm supposed to ask him? Yeah. Boom, boom, you little bastard. Yeah. Face down, close cast. Oh, it ain't nothing to catch a body. Yeah. I'm on that for crack like I'm Bobby. Okay. Free my little brother King Knight. Nice. Free my little brother Haji. Blow your ass down broad daylight and strip him like it was a robbery. After fatty, this dolo. Crack and other members, the rival gang responded. Haji was locked up at the time he was dissed by Fatty. Haji is deep with them boys on the low end on the north side. Yeah. Who did you shoot? Who? Who did you stab? Huh? Who did you pop? Nobody. Who did you drop? Huh? You ain't did none. None? What? You went on a crumb? What? Nah. You niggas is bums. Boom! So stop putting on that front. Haji. Didn't take kind to Fatty sending shots while he was locked up. He started going hard on Fatty and his gang for dissing crack and other members of One Nine. Call duty for the F and N. Kick so much you need an extra hand. We at the party they won't let us in cause they know it's cracking if it's an op in here. I'm looking for me but I ain't had no. Told you what a fam you ain't slide down. So grab a pole it's time to ride out. Trying to finesse a bitch tell me where y'all had. Welcome to the wild side. Welcome to the north side. Bitch, welcome to the wild side. Welcome to the north side. Welcome to the wild side. Welcome to the north side. Welcome to the north side. Welcome to the north side. This shit never stop. Treat it like a job. Wake up now to fat. Try to yes, smoke so. up. Lows be getting hot. How do you chill? Bitch, I'd rather not. Gotta chase a knot. Bitch, I'm about my guap. Hole in the dip. Wrapped up in the sky. Where? Where your brothers in the lab? Like the police, what? we don't give what? a fuck if your hands up. How you always doing next stuff? Do. How many niggas die ill? And I still oh. haven't been touched. Nah. Everybody can be die ill. Cause Good. I really don't give a f As the war started to escalate. It started to get worse and people started to die and more people and more people people were dying at Denny's people were dying at Walgreens people were dying on sidewalks in the back in front on the side alleys gangways parkways apartments houses basements it was going down and no one could stop it not the police Shit, not even the block. The shit was getting very real. People was not leaving their house unless they had a gun. Mothers, aunties, nieces, dad, fathers, sisters, brothers, cousins, nieces, and nephews. If you ain't have a strap, you ain't leave the crib. The bug bath or the feud between one nine and other gangs across North Minneapolis is a tragedy. Between Chirac gang members and Northside cliques. The gangs are taking on each other's opposition. The FBI has hired a team of seven to come back and fight the war between gangs and the violence that's rippled through the city. Families and longtime residents are leaving North Minneapolis by the dozens. Families are moving because they don't want to get shot. And it's really tough to get a gun because of the tough laws on gun control. 
Monster Violence at the top with 19 Dipset Gang. Deontay Hubbard had created so many enemies that Abolo went out to stay away from him and he was a wanted man in the streets. And if you value your life, you don't want to be a statistic. Stay away from him. People say, why do you continue to live in North Minneapolis? And I say, because this is the world we live in. And as soon as you divorce yourself of that, it's like you don't see it anymore. It doesn't matter to you. And while I'm here, you know, there are 